टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द सिंथेसिस ऑफ आइसोनियाजिड आइसोनियाजिड बिलोंग्स टू द व्हिच कैटेगरी एंटी ट्यूबरकुलर ड्रग दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग एज वेल एज सिंथेटिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मींस और फार्माकोलॉजिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू और फर्स्ट लाइन कैटेगरी कंपोनेंट मींस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अलोंग विद मी दैट इज आइसोनियाजिड सिंथेसिस आइसोनियाजिड सिंथेसिस बिफोर गोइंग टू आइसोनियाजिड सिंथेसिस we will go uh, initially we uh, we will discuss that it belongs to which category anti tubercular drug anti tubercular drug and mechanism of action this is the first point our second point is that mechanism of action it is inhibit inhibition of mycolic acid synthesis which uh, which cause the death of particular my, uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis okay uh, basically third point again is a very important that is component of first line treatment of tb first line treatment of tb is that is means these are preferred use or preferred choice of drug for the treatment of the tuberculosis okay which is caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis clear which are the first line components that is first one the pyrazinamide pyrazinamide on a p and ethambutol that is e e4 ethambutol and second one third one is the r4 rifampicin and next one i4 isoniazid and last one that is s4 streptomycin okay means if we will remember as a particular name that is we can say paris p4 again pyrazinamide E4 isoniazide sorry ethambutol R4 rifampicin I4 isoniazide and S4 streptomycin in this fashion we can remember the first line drug um, or first line treatment of the pyra and uh, tuberculosis okay this is um, number of times uh, asked during the competitive exam which are the first line drug or which is not a fun, uh, first line drug for the treatment of tuberculosis then at that time you are not able to recall that particular drug which are, which are belongs to the first line category okay means yahan pe aap first line category aap yaad kar sakte by mean of you, remembering the paris p4 that is pyrazinamide e4 ethambutol r4 rifampicin i4 isoniazid s4 streptomycin okay now come to the synthesis this this come uh, synthesis is the very easy as good as good as a very important how it is important this is the uh, which type of molecule how uh, see try to understand so, suppose this one uh, how we will remember that uh, this structure suppose this one is the benzene as you know it is the very simple structure that is that is the benzene okay this one the benzene if i will uh, substitute uh, a nitrogen a nitrogen at uh, a particular position then it is the pyridine then it is the pyridine okay how will write the pyridine p y r i d i n e pyridine okay uh, if pyridine have a position uh, pyridine have a numbering system that is uh, specific one that is alpha that is beta that is the gamma okay if i will substitute uh, if i will substitute gamma position that is in this fashion this and this cs3 then it is known as gamma picoline then it is known as gamma picoline as our, our drug starting material i think this this is the structure means our starting material is gamma picoline gamma picoline number of times during the competitive exam especially gpet or as well as drug inspector exam starting material for the synthesis of uh, isoniazid is number of times are uh, asked that is the gamma picoline N number of students are not able to understand the structure of gamma picoline as well as uh, not able to recall the name of the gamma picoline i think you will be able to correlate the structure gamma picoline how it is gamma picoline that is uh, as it is alpha position that is beta position 
uh, and this one the gamma position if uh, gamma position have a methyl group that is gamma picolin if beta position have methyl group that is beta picolin if alpha position CS3 group then alpha picolin here we are starting with uh, with alpha and gamma picolin okay now uh, in this uh, gamma picolin alkaline K mono four alkaline alkaline K mono four is used for oxidation purpose and it undergo first reaction that is benzylic benzylic oxidation. Benzylic oxidation means a ring uh, or a carbon which is attached to the benzene or its analog uh, that carbon undergo oxidation this means uh, methyl group converts into the uh, carboxylic group and this no, uh, compound known as isonicotinic acid what is this isonicotinic acid Isonicotinic acid, how it is isonicotinic acid? As we have discussed in the last lecture, that is the, in the classification during this one, the benzene uh, pyridine ring system. If this carboxylic group present on meta position, that is nicotinic acid, that is nicotinic acid, and if it is substituted. Uh, shifted to the next position then it will be counted as or known as isonicotinic acid uh, isonicotinic acid is ast uh, astrified by mean of c2h5oh and in presence of acid then it it undergo reaction number two that is astrification that is esterification. It is very simple reaction. As you know, alcohol carboxylic group undergo by mean of alcohol. It form the ester. Means what is the name of this molecule? And that is isonicotinic form. Means ethyl isonicotinic ethyl iso isonicotinate. Okay, this one this, uh, intermediate. Uh, this intermediate is treated with what? That is a hydrazine, and that is the reaction number or third reaction. Third reaction that is re reaction with hydrazine uh, and hydrazine molecule form hydrazide. That is hydrazide form. And uh, what is this? And during this reaction, removal of simply water molecule. Sorry. Uh, removal of what that is the ethanol that is ethanol removal of c2h5oh and addition uh, replaced by this uh, functional group then ns2 this is hydrazide form and uh, what is this I, uh, isonicotinyl isonicotinyl hydrazide okay then in uh, by mean of I and H, that's why it is known as I and H. In generally pharmacological books or different books, uh, you will see the name of isoniazid as INH. Number of students are not able to recall the INH. How it comes as INH? You can remember isonicotinyl hydrazide and third reaction is the hydrazide formation. That is hydrazide, hydrazide formation. Okay. In thus, now this is the complete synthesis of uh, that is isoniazid. But apart from this, I will uh, give a one more uh, important point. That is how this is uh, uh, isoniazid uh, or isonicotinyl uh, hydrazide which have a uh, free NH2 group free NH2 group a free NH2 group there is there then there will be the drug interaction uh, containing free carbonyl group a when it will uh, comes in our blood circulation blood circulation have a uh, pyridoxal phosphate uh, blood circulation have a um, pyridoxal phosphate pyridoxal phosphate known as that is vitamin b6 
विटामिन बी सिक्स ओके विटामिन बी सिक्स इज प्रेजेंट इन आवर ब्लड सर्कुलेशन एंड विटामिन बी सिक्स है एल्डिहाइड फंक्शनल ग्रुप दैट हैव पर्टिकुलर फ्री का एल्डिहाइड फंक्शनल ग्रुप वाइल आइसोनियाजिड हैव एनएच टू ग्रुप विच रिजल्ट्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ विच रिजल्ट्स ड्रग इंटरेक्शन विद एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए रिमूवल ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल बाय रिमूविंग एच टू एंड ऑक्सीजन एंड दिस फॉर दिस कंपैरेटिवली दिस स्ट्रक्चर how it is uh, becomes like that come and try to understand uh, during uh, drug interaction in our body how it uh, undergo see the um, structure of a uh, molecule this is the isoniazid form of uh, conh and and here uh, ch yt is attached with the double bond and uh, in this fashion uh, pyridoxyl uh, structure will be attained oh and ch3 here na nitrogen and here ch2 oxygen having phosphate link this part okay in this form this is the useless product this is this will form during the uh, interaction with the isoniazid and, uh, along with the pyridoxyl this is useless this is this will be the useless uh, less for the patient okay in that situation what will happen uh, isoniazid uh, in that situation isoniazid depletes the pyridoxine phosphate means uh, vitamin b6 means uh, patient und which uh, undergo the treatment along with the isoniazid have deficiency of pyridoxine phosphate due to the depletion reaction with isoniazid and forming a complex molecule which is a useless that's beta B, B, vitamin b6 deficiency cause peripheral neuritis which uh, side effect is there peripheral neuritis peripheral neuritis means that is thumb numbness in our feet so means uh, feet have uh, feet means our legs are have a numbness means suna pan aa jata hai which results uh, of what that is the um, treatment along with the isoniazid isoniazid react with the py pyridoxyl phosphate pyridoxyl have aldehyde functional group uh, while our isoniazid have na na a free amino group which results in simply nucleophilic addition reaction uh, nucleophilic addition removal of uh, water molecule that is uh, complex molecule and that is a uh, useless which will be excreted in urine that's why deficiency of vitamin b6 which results peripheral neuritis okay this is all about initial uh, complete isoniazid just i am revising isoniazid is the first line category that is the component of paris means first line category of drugs gamma picolin is starting material for the synthesis benzylic oxidation with kmno4 alkaline kmno4 which results formation of carboxylic acid that is isonicotinic acid isonicotinic acid undergo esterification reaction by mean of al uh, acidic alcohol which results in the formation of ethyl isonicotinate isonicotinate uh, reacted with the hydrazine this molecule is a hydrazine uh, hydrazine hydrazine uh, form uh, hydrazine hydrazine form the isonicotinyl hydrazide that is our inh means isoniazid due to the interaction with the pyridoxyl phosphate it cause deficiency of pyridoxyl phosphate which result the um, side effect peripheral neuritis okay this is all about isoniazid synthesis and its structure its name mechanism action and usage okay